Hi everyone! Today I'm doing an unboxing video! It's a small unboxing video which I have been subscribed to for months now but I haven't done any videos on so they basically have been piling up in the corner of my room and just staring at me! <laughs> this is terrible, I need to catch up and this scroller box is from April 2020 oh my god that's last year oh my god it's been a whole year has it? it's been more than a year oh my god people don't judge me <laughs> as you can see from the beautiful illustration and uh, this box is based on watercolors we get a watercolor pad a sketching pencil and a round brush you also get two watercolor markers and three watercolor pencils and obviously we get the sticker which I love this one sticker it's like a rainbowy and it's got the little face on it it's beautiful and obviously the little treat that we get in every box I'm not sure what uh, the flavor was I'm trying to think uh, was it minty I'm not sure it was yummy though <laughs> um, the scroller challenge because you get a word every month to for inspiration if you want to use it it was daydreamer uh, oh the, the illustration that they sent us it looks like the girl is dreaming about fishes because there's fishes around her that's cute didn't notice that but yeah daydreamer but I completely ignored that because I was too excited to get swatching these watercolor pencils because I have never used watercolor pencils before can you even believe that I have seen so many people do beautiful illustrations with them online and I have always wanted to try them so I was so excited to swatch these um, I started out with the three pencils I had the color red, brown and green and the two markers were yellow and blue which was an absolutely beautiful blue it's like a sky blue when you water it down a little bit which is just my favorite color ever um, yeah um, I, I don't I'm not sure if everyone gets the same colors uh, does everyone get the same colors because it's printed on the sheet so they probably do but the illustration she has like a skin tone is that just a red water down it is a bit blushy I think so unless she's made orange yeah I think everyone gets the same colors but I really wanted to do, the get, do a character but obviously <laughs> I wasn't thinking properly because you can quite easily make skin tone especially because I have all the pine colors anyway didn't end up doing a person I just do a simple flower illustration I did um, uh, try and uh, blend the colors together uh, to make more colors I'm trying to mix the yellow and the orange to make yellow and the red to make orange uh, <laughs> can't talk today sorry um, I think the colors came out a bit muddy trying to just put them next to each other and blend them together doesn't really work especially when it dries it just looks gray it doesn't look that nice uh, looking at it now mm, but on the flower where I mix uh, where I put the initial yellow down and then add the red on top and blend that into the yellow it does work better oh, I also found that the markers um, they're a bit more pigmented and more vibrant colors but uh, the initial scribble that you put down is very hard to blend out with the water so it's like kind of permanent the initial line or the little um, color block that you put down is very hard to blend out but on the pencils it's, it's a bit easier they're like as soon as you put water on them they basically turn into watercolors <coughs> uh, 
but also the pencils um, you need to put a good amount of color down like you can't do a light scribble obviously because there isn't that many pigments on the paper it it does go very light when you add water to it unless that's what you're going for like the skin tone that she's done I think that's what she's done just like a light red um, yeah so uh, I found the whole experience absolutely amazing I am going to use these in my sketchbook uh, they're very fun to use and just to add some colors even like um, you know when you do a little uh, sketch and you want to put some colors in the background these would be fantastic for that because they don't bleed they're easy to use they're easy to carry around and you just need you basically just need one of these uh, not this brush but you know the brushes that have uh, the water at the back what are they called Think. You know what I'm talking about. The brushes with the water thing at the back. <laughs> put that in your pencil case. Put the pencils in your pencil case. And there you go. Easy. Um, yeah, I'm definitely going to use them in my sketchbook. But I don't think they're... Unless you know what you're doing, which I obviously didn't. Uh, I don't think they'd be good for doing final pieces. Just because I found them a bit unpredictable, they do go wherever they want. <laughs> Basically, they. Um, uh, what happened was when I did the flower and the leaf next to it, it really wanted to. The <coughs> when you add the water, oh my god, I can't speak. I'm so sorry. This voiceover is so terrible. <laughs> when you do the f when I did the flower, and I tried. Uh, I obviously made it red or orange and then after I went to do the yellow and green for the leaves but the orange and the red kept trying to bleed into it because obviously when you add water you activate the red again because it's a watercolor pencil isn't it? they want to be activated even like when I did the background you can see at the end that the red from the flower bled into the background which <laughs> looks amazing as a sketch because it looks like I did it in the, like purposely but I don't think as a final illustration it will look that good uh, I also don't really like the on the leaves I added a outline with the marker with the blue marker it's just making the leaves look too um, I don't want to say cartoony but it's not even cartoony it doesn't look good I think if I left it with just the pencil outline it, it would have looked better I did try and blend it out into the background that's why there's a blue background now um, although I love the background and I love the blue I don't like the leaves so if I would do it again I won't use it as an outline first it's very thick obviously because it's a marker and it's a thick outline and um, you can't blend it out as I said the markers are very hard to blend out and if you put uh, the initial line that you do with the marker it, it stays there no matter how much water you want other than that I'm happy with it uh, I want to do more uh, <laughs> if you do want to see me use these and maybe do a face next time please comment below and let me know I want to I want to use them in my sketchbook so I will be using them and I'll probably do a video a sketch with me video if you want to see that please subscribe and try and catch it um, other than that, what else do I have to say? I will be posting videos every Monday. Every Monday I will be here. If I don't, please cut me and make sure I do it. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm done talking. I hope you enjoyed uh, this little quick sketch. 
thank you all so much for the love you've been showing me um i hope you guys have a beautiful day and see you guys next time bye